panubos sa gapangitas natin Tuwirin mga landas, mga alitan ay tapusin Sapagkat si Chris ay darating Masaya natin ipaganda ang pagdating Nang manunubos sa gapagliktas natin Tuwirin mga landas, mga alitan ay tapusin Sapagkat si Chris ay darating Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters Good afternoon, Father We include in this Mass our personal intentions We also include in this Mass a thanksgiving of Claire Fabian and for the special intentions of Maria Elena Fabian and Cindy and James Fulgado. We also remember in this Holy Eucharist our faithful departed and all the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, Almighty God, always go before us and follow after, so that we who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your help both now and in the life to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, gave him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left somewhere here. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering geared on strength. The well-fed heart themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The Lord puts death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. 
he raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to set them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. Please all stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O King of all nations and Keystone of the Church, come and save men whom you formed me from the dust. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon pong muli sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. At welcome din po sa ating ikawalong gabi ng ating pagsisimbang gabi. Malapit na po ang Pasko. Kumusta kaya yung ating paghahanda na ihanda kaya natin ng maayos hindi lamang yung ating bahay hindi lamang yung ating mga regalo hindi lamang yung ating mga gagamitin kundi na ihanda ba talaga natin yung ating mga sarili sa paparating na kapaskuhan Frederick Delius once said Music is an outburst of the soul. And we Filipinos are known to be music lovers. We love music. We love to sing. Mahilig sa at tayo sa musika. Kahit na kung minsan ang musika ayaw sa atin. Kaya nga sa mga pagtitipon ay hindi pwedeng walang musika. Parang ang boring ng isang party na walang music. Ano? Kung wala man sayawan, at least meron man lang tugtog. At kung minsan, may mga nagrerenta pa ng video okay para lang mas masaya ang mga pagdiriwang. 
kahit na kung minsan ang mga kumakanta ay sintunado. Ano? Sila lang natutuwa, pero yung nakikinig na iinis. <laughs> o di kayo tumatawa. Pero ganun tayo magmahal ng musika. Ganun tayo mag-appreciate ng music. At kung minsan dito rin natin na-express yung ating mga nararamdaman. At dito rin natin nalalaman ang nararamdaman ng isang kumakanta. Ano? Kapag puro na lang kabiguan ang kinakanta, tatanungin, ano, may problema ka ba? May pinagdadaan ka yata, di ba? Sinasabi ko ito sapagkat sa ating Ebanghelyo ay napakinggan natin ang awit ni Maria, ang Magnificat. At sabi ni Maria, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for He has looked upon His lowly servant. Ito ay patungkol sa pasasalamat ng ating inang Maria sa ating Panginoon. At sa wikang Ingles, ito ay Thanksgiving. At kung titingnan natin ang salitang Thanksgiving, meron tayong dalawang salitang makikita. Ano ito? Thanks and giving. Ito ang nakak- madalas nakakalimutan ng iba na kapag tayo'y nagpasalamat, dapat tayo rin ay nagbibigay. Meron kang ibibigay sa kapwa bilang pasasalamat sa Panginoon na nagkaloob sa iyo. Ang ating pasasalamat ay nagtutulak sa atin na magbigay. When we give thanks to God, we give also to others. Hindi naman ibig sabihin pera. Hindi lang naman pera ang pwede nating ibigay. Kahit yung panahon, kahit yung pakikinig, kahit yung atensyon, kahit pagdarasal, pwedeng-pwede nating ibigay. Ang ating mahal na inang si Maria ay nagbigay ng kanyang buong sarili. Tinanggap niya ang alok na maging ina ng Diyos. Kaya nga isang awit ng papuri ang namutawi sa kanyang bibig sapagkat gumawa sa kanya ang Panginoon ng mga dakilang bagay. Sana ito rin ang taglayin ng bawat isa sa atin. Isang pusong puno ng pasasalamat at isang pusong nagbibigay. At ang ating ibibigay higit sa lahat ay yung ating mga sarili sa Diyos. At alam ko pong hindi po ito madali sapagkat nangangahulugan ito ng napakalaking sakripisyo. Nangangahulugan ito ng paglimot sa ating sarili. At hindi ganun kadali ang magbigay. Ngunit dito nasusukat ang ating pagiging mga anak ng Diyos. Mga minamahal ko mga kapatid, dapat matuto tayong magpasalamat at magbigay. Sabi ko nga kanina, it's not just about giving thanks, but also being generous, being charitable to those in need. Ang tunay na pasalamat ay may kaukulang pagbibigay at ang pagbibigay ay dapat may kasamang sakripisyo sapagkat may bahagi sa atin na nawawala kapag tayo ay naghahandog. Minsan nga po, sinabi ko sa aking humiliya, madaling magbigay kung ang ibinibigay mo ay hindi galing sa pinagpaguran mo. Kahit ibigay mo lahat, wala kang pakialam kasi hindi mo naman yung pinagpaguran. Pero yung bunga ng iyong pagpapawis, bunga ng iyong sakripisyo, bunga ng iyong pagpapagod, bunga ng iyong pagpupuyat, kapag ibinigay mo, 
gaano man yan kaliit, ramdam mo kasi pinaghirapan mo yan. Kaya, sa panahong ito, ng panahon ng Adviento, sa paghahanda natin sa Kapaskuhan, matuto tayong magbigay ng mula sa ating pinaghirapan, mula sa ating puso, pagbibigay, hindi lamang material na bagay, kundi higit sa lahat ng ating sarili, ng ating panahon. Sabi nga po, kung gusto, may paraan. Kung ayaw, napakaraming dahilan. Kung tayo marunong magpasalamat at magbigay, hindi magtatagal at aawit din tayo ng papuri sa Diyos habang umaani tayo ng biyaya at mga tagumpay sa ating buhay. Amen. Please all stand. Brothers and sisters, with full hope in God, our loving Father, let us pray to Him for the graces He wants to bestow on our people. We all say, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. So that the work of always praising the power of God becomes a part of the lives of believers. Let us pray. Lord, hear us. So that the power of the Creator may be recognized by humanity all over the world, and it be the key to unity and peace in the world. Let us pray. Lord, hear us. So that God's mercy and care may be granted to the poor, suffering and destitute and any wealth let us pray lord hear us so that the praise and recognition of god's power may be concretely seen to the lives of the clan in our parish and community let us pray lord hear us good father we have complete faith in your power and in any grace that you wish to grant us that we ask you to obtain through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, 
Almighty Father, forever and ever. all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our saints, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bye. 
which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Father Pio. Thank you for your offering. Please all stand. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you, our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. 
Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us, that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambamasamdambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at mayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilan detalye sa ating Pilgrims Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pansimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pambansan Dambana para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW, at mga kasama ninyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, para sa ating tuwirang paghahanda sa Kapaskuhan, ang oras po ng Misa de Gallo ay sa ikaapat at kalahati na madaling araw at ang simbang gabi sa ikalima ng hapon. Kayo pong lahat ay inaanyayahin mag-alay ng mga dry goods tulad ng bigas, delata, noodles at iba pa nating ipamamahagi sa mga nangangailagan nating na kaparokya at mga kababayang tagatingloy at isla verde. Mangyaring magabayan po tayo ng mga gawaing nakapost sa ating FB page. Ikaapat, bukas po araw ng Sabado ay ikadalwamputatlo ng buwan ang araw ng pagpapagaling ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ni Santo Padre Pio, ang mga oras ng healing mass at healing liturgy na may pagagawad ng langis ay sa ganap na ikasyam na umaga at ikalima ng hapon. Kayo at ang inyong mga may sakit ay inaanyayahan. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng panalalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa temtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin. Mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin. Upang ang lahat dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tulara nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ang mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dit sa lupa para na ang salangit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw, patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala, para ng pagpapatawad namin sa nakakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria ay nanan Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. 
Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus, Santa Maria ay nanan Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Nagpupuri sa may kapal ang buong kalooban Dahil sa kadakilan ang ginawa niyang tanan sa kanyang kapangyarihan.